In this video, we're going to learn how to work with filters in the 7Nox platform. By using the filtering and sorting features of the 7Nox interface, you can quickly locate, view, or make adjustments to your information. 7Nox features column sorting and filtering options for most pages. For example, here on the current bookings page, we can sort bookings by location, tenant, start time, hour, and by notes. When a column is sorted for a specific parameter, its heading will appear blue, as in this example where current bookings are sorted by descending start time. You can restore default sorting at any time simply by refreshing the page. In addition to sorting data, you can also use 7Nox filters to quickly locate information for editing and deleting. Filters are located in the column headings and can be activated by clicking the filter icon. Here you can set search conditions using the pop-up filter widget. For example, you can set the condition of match any or match all. Plus, you can add a variety of conditional rules to narrow down your data search. For example, selecting starts with, contains, or equals will place different constraints on your query. You can also add additional rules to further fine-tune your search. To apply your conditions, hit the Apply button. To clear them, hit the Clear button. Let's see how filtering works by using an example. Let's say we want to locate all of the current bookings that are scheduled for the 12th floor of our site. To do this, we can use the filter in the Location column. We will choose Match All as our condition and Contains as our rule. We can type Floor 12 and hit apply. Now all of the results will have floor 12 listed in the location column. Let's clear this filter and try another example. Let's say we want to locate all of the bookings that occur on the 10th floor and that start at 1800 hours. To do this we once again start by filtering the location column we choose Match All, Contains, and we enter Floor 10. We hit Apply, and the data is filtered to include only Floor 10 entries. Next, we move to the Start Time column and click the filter. We choose Match All, set our rule as Contains, and enter 1800. We hit the apply button and now the result is a list of bookings that occur on the 10th floor and begin at 1800 hours. From here we can edit each entry or delete it from the list. Now let's look at one last example to illustrate the difference between match any and match all. We'll start by refreshing the page to clear all of the filters. Now let's filter the tenant column to locate a specific set of bookings. We'll start with the match all, use the rule starts with, and enter the word example. Next we'll add a second rule that ends with the number 8. Next we hit apply. We can see that the results conform to our parameters. All results both start with the word example and end with the number 8. Now let's see what happens if we switch the filtering condition to match any. We can see that we now get a completely different list. This is because the match any condition acts as an OR operator. To make the cut, each entry must begin with the word example or end with the number 8. 
So this is how you work with filters to quickly locate data in the 7 Knox platform.